Hello, today I'm here with a good dread with me, I think. I don't really know if uh, this is going to be a video or not, but I wanted to do makeup, but I don't know if it will be any good. And then I don't know if it's going to be a video, like a tutorial. I usually don't do tutorials like that, but I wanted to try something. And I thought this can be very cool, so I want to do a video on it, but I don't know if it's going to be that, so I don't want to do a tutorial. So I'm going to do a Get Red With Me. I don't know what I'm going to talk about, I will just babble about everything, I think. So yeah, I have my eyebrows already on because I have been to work today and this is how I look for work. So I'm just going to do my makeup and talk to you. And do you see these brows? They are still in pretty good shape, I think. I think they are. So, if you ever wonder how I look... <laughs> I usually look like this. Eyebrows and then my hair is in a bun. Because I hate my hair right now. Okay, so the look I'm going to do today you will just hang around and see and I am in such a filming spree right now filming spree. I have filmed a lot these last couple of days and I really like it but then I have to edit everything and Edit videos is not my favorite. Yeah, I'm going to be honest, but I have to do it because else it won't be. I can put up like unedited videos. The only thing I I film a lot right now, and <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I start to run out of ideas or maybe not ideas but I have ideas that it's not just one video and that I can film in a day I have I want to do so many free looks one palette but I really don't know when I going to have the time for it because usually when I <laughs> do my makeup and Film. I want to film at least two videos with the same makeup and I don't want to spoil the looks before if I can choose. I don't know if you even care about that to spoil a look before it's up. I don't know. But do you, do you like to see how the look comes together and I've tried to think what I think when I watch other people and I don't really know if I care if somebody has one look in a video and then like a week later do the first impression or the free looks one palette and the look is in there I don't even know if I care if I do this, so I don't know why I care when I do it myself. Uh, but I don't know. Did you even get what I mean? Meant? Because that felt so... Babbly. And rambling. Okay, so if you wonder what I'm doing right now, I am... Using the Linda Holberg Deep Palette and I took light year in my crease and now I'm taking four necks and guess what I am doing today I'm doing a good old halo eye I feel that I often do this I found one new way to do my makeup and then that's the only way that I do my makeup And right now it feels like halo eye is my thing. But this... I 
yesterday I think it was when I was going to bed I couldn't stop think about this look and I really wanted to try it and it's going to be more fun than this you always look so crazy when you when you are using when you are when I am using black and I'm not finished with the look it usually looks a little bit off so this is the Fornax shade from Linda Holberg I don't even know if I'm going to say her name in English or Swedish from Linda Halberg and this is I really like this black because it is um, it's black but it's not like this pitch black from start so you can build it up and it's so easy to blend and I am starting to use more black now so I really like this and it is so fun to test something new so okay for the halo eye of this look I'm going to use this one from Melt and this is radioactive from the radioactive stack and I really hope my brush is clean okay so this I'm going to use in the middle and I hope that this will look as cool as I imagine but things doesn't normally do that I like can picture look and then I do it and when I see it I ask like okay what was that fuss all about but this is maybe this is maybe something but I think I need a little bit more black I think I want it pretty dark and I think this is one of the shades that you're not supposed to have near your eyes um, but you do it on your own risk So this was mo maybe the most shittiest get rid with me I have ever done. Because I don't talk that much. And it feels so strange to already have my eyebrows on before I start with the makeup. But I was like, oh, I'm going to take it away just to redo them. No. And this morning I used my Kat Von D brow struck dimension powder for my eyebrows and I dropped this this morning and a little part of me was like break 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 it did not break don't get me wrong because I like that powder it's a really good brow powder but uh, as you may know it takes like forever to go through a whole brow product and I just want, I just want to try something new. I have the ColourPop Best in Brows that I want to use. But I'm going to use up my Kat Von D first. And then I have also one Anastasia Deep Brow. That I also want to use, like, right now. But I have to finish that Kat Von D first. Okay, so I think I really can dig this look. And I have a lot of fallouts. But I don't care. So, this is the lid done. And I... I am really happy with this look. I think it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to take away the fallouts. And then I will come back. And I just remember why I usually don't... Why I usually take away my eyebrows because I'm going to do my foundation now and my eyebrows are in the way.
but not so much to do because I am afraid that if I take away my eyebrows now I'm going to mess up the eye shadow and I don't want that. So now I'm going to use my foundations and this is soon empty. Then I'm going to start a new one because I am never going to use this on its own. It's the NYX Total Contrap. People really rave about this. I don't get it. It is so cool, cold in our apartment because it is. But I don't know. It's not that cold outside, and the radiators are on. So I don't know. <laughs> I think it was last winter. Um, it was like 17 degrees in here and it was so cold so we talked to the landlord and it was nothing wrong with the heater so they came and fixed it but we have like put all our radiators on the highest and then the heat came back and it was like 28 degrees in here so we had to like open the windows just to be able to be in here. That's such a fun thing to tell you. But now, it's not that cold that I think something is broken, but I don't know. I think that is the only thing. I really want to live in a house. Uh, we are looking for a house, but the house right now here in Sweden and here where we live, it's pretty expensive. And we want, don't want to spend too much money on a house. Maybe that can sound a little bit strange to some of you. But we like, we don't want all our money to go to pay off the loans and stuff like that. So we are checking for a house, but the market right now it's crazy and <laughs> I know if we if we when we will buy a house if something breaks we have to fix it ourselves and uh, that sucks a little bit that is what I love to rent an apartment you can just call the landlord and they come and fix it it was I think it was maybe two years ago, our washer. We don't have a own washer, we have a laundry room. <laughs> um, everybody in this building, we share a washer. And it broke down, I think it was two years ago. So it started and get like halfway and then it just stopped washing. So everything was like wet <laughs> and like this the wash what the hell the washing powder was still on the clothes so and then we just can call the landlord and they came with a completely new wash machine if that have been our own house we had to pay for that washing machine because uh, you need to have a washing machine so that I don't looking forward to, but like having more space, buy a new cat, because we are doing that when we get a house, we are buying a new cat. <laughs> a new cat. We are buying our third cat, and I am going to decide the name for that cat, and yes. So, what was I talking about? Yeah, we are going to buy a house. Hopefully this year, but I don't know. Right now, there is no house on the market that we... Okay, there is like one house that I really want to live in. Um, but it's... It's not that expensive, but it's in the wrong part of town. Because I'm pretty picky. Which I think you should be when you are buying a house, because... It's going to like be the most expensive thing you will ever buy. 
and to spend so much money on something I think you must really really be sure so I am pretty picky where I want to live um, we want to live in the same town but and I would wish for to live in the same area but there is not so many houses around here and the houses around here are way over our budget okay so for what should we do more with the base we use this one and <laughs> the thing is when I put on my base um, the settings on my camera they are going like apeshit I don't know if you have noticed it, but I don't know why it is like that. Um, but I look so pale, much paler than I think I actually are. But sometimes it's like, I don't know how pale I am. One time me and my boyfriend, when we were in, in town and we were shopping, I saw a super pale girl and I was like, check her out. She's paler than me. And my boyfriend is like, no, she's not. You're like equally pale. And I was like, oh, I'm that pale. Okay, I don't know what more to say in this video. I don't even know if I'm going to put this up. Um, I'm going to fix the rest of my base and my under eyes. And you will see this look in the coming video. Because I'm recording a video after this. And I really like this eyes. I really like it. Ooh. So uh, I hope you liked this video. <laughs> I will see you in the next one. And the next one will not be this weird get ready with me thing. I don't even know what it is. But I hope you like this babbly thing. And I'm sorry that you can't see the finished result. But it's coming in a video. It's maybe already up. I don't know. But I really hope you liked this. Whatever this now was. So yeah. I will see you in the next one. Bye.